John Drums will leave a stand and fight against the odds. And the size of the opponent can make no difference. To be a real champion is the ultimate yeah, test. Yeah. To win is the ultimate goal. I came to crush anybody in my way. They getting hit with the chin music. Punk straight getting it. My team versus your team ain't a thing. Take it to the ring. Fight to the extreme. We can go from night till morn. Wild out. Everybody. Gentlemen, welcome to a sold-out show here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at Ringside. Man, you couldn't fit another fan in here with a crowbar, I'm telling you. There's a whole lot of cheese heads in the house tonight. It sure is. Green Bay knows that they're about Why? to see the greatest superstars in all of sports entertainment. I can't wait to get started. Nice quick counter. He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. This crowd has really gotten behind you. Great reversal. This is not just a match anymore, Cole. These superstars have got a legitimate beef with each other. They do indeed. There's a lot of bad blood here for sure. From NY to Texas, you're seeing who the best is. Told me not check your records. I'm reckless. You better call the EMU. These rappers getting played like a play, like a bunk, yo. I'm dedicated. My rhymes be meditated. I'm heavy weighted. The best been demonstrated by the forces of 40 horses. Awesome portrait, like the torches. I'm living.
evening, and welcome to a sold-out show from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside, and have we got a show for you tonight. Hey, Cole, we're in the desert. This is nuts. Every SmackDown show is bigger and better than the ones that came before, and tonight's going to be bigger than all of them. That's a bold statement, partner, but I can't disagree. I don't think Phoenix has any idea what they're in for tonight. This is just dumb, Cole. You don't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I disagree, Taz. Getting the crowd on your side can be a huge psychological boost. He dodged that bullet. It's not easy maintaining this type of intensity week after week after week, Cole. Trust me. I don't doubt it, Taz. The WWE superstars don't get an off-season. They compete every week until they're not physically kicked. Wow. Great reversal. When you see this level of competition, Cole, there is no doubt that Sayonara Scout. See you next time. How much longer are these superstars going to be able to keep it up? Your guess is as good as mine, Taz. They're certainly not going easy on each other, that's for sure. Nice reversal. Look at him, he's just radiating confidence. And he's got a lot to be confident about. Yeah, but he looks a little overconfident to me, Cole. And that could come back to bite him on the you-know-what. Man, his opponent looks like a punk with that counter. Man, this match is so good. It's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Cole. Thanks a lot, Taz. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a podcast partner, either. You know what you should do, girl pants? You should team up with Jerry Lawler. Then it could be the king and queen on commentary. Real funny, Taz. You know, that would almost be worth not having to work with a joker like you all the time. You know, Paul, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole. I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Taz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing. But cheating to steal a victory? He just eliminated him with authority. Watch it. He reversed it. I've been in the ring with a lot of tough dudes in my career, but trust me, Tajiri, pound for pound, one of the toughest guys in this business, bar none. But if you can counter that wicked speed he has, you know, Tajiri don't have a lot of tricks left in his bag. You make it sound so simple, Taz. I bet that's easier said than done. Otherwise, Tajiri wouldn't have much of a career here in the WWE. It's not easy, Cole. I never... Man, what a run! They took him all the way out of the match! These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is going to have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. Well, what do you want, Cole? You want to say that everyone wins so nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great tough luck, yes, so live to fight another day. He saw that one coming. Man, you talk about superstars and we got an out to it in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. 
You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You know that if you act. And there's an elimination! the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but... <laughs> he just got eliminated! Can you believe that? I don't think the fans like that one too much. <laughs> I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE, and he doesn't give a damn what they think. It really, he just didn't have enough left to hang on. He was one step ahead on that one. I don't think there's going to be anything left of these superstars by the end of this match. You're probably right. Well, that narrowed things down a little bit. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. You know, leaving aside all his personality problems, I think Mahalo san is a real hot prospect, Cole. What a reversal! So, Cole, you got any predictions? Uh, you know, who you oh, God. He tried to hang on, but not hard enough. He's out. I think this proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the dominant brand in sports entertainment. I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like this on Raw. Yeah, and even if you did, you'd have to listen to a couple of yahoos jabbering uh, about puppies and, and government mules and uh, scolded dogs. It's like, it's like a damn zoo over there. JBL has every advantage. Nice quick counter. There he goes. This one's over for him. Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You really got to watch out for your opponent when they get fired up like that. I guess you gotta give it up to Scott. I never seen a superstar. Oh, come on, quit showing off. This is supposed to be a wrestler match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before, Taz. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. I don't know, Cole. I'm kind of unsure about Randy Orton. He's a pretty good a couple of big things, but I still think that he's about... And there's the counter, Cole! Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? Then you don't look too thrilled about it, but out is out. See ya. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counted you like that. I wonder if we're going to see anything this good on Raw next Monday. Hit the showers. We're out of the match. about winning or losing anymore, Cole. This has become real personal. Well, with the way they've been beating the hell out of him, he slipped out of that one. I think someone's been taking flying lessons, Taz. The 
these superstars are showing some great intensity here tonight, and that's what the WWE fans came to see. That's for sure, Taz. And the number one rule here on SmackDown is to send the fans home happy. He likes playing dirty, and it's easy to see why. He's pretty good at it. He certainly is, and I hope he's proud of himself. Personally, I find it disgusting. He anticipated that move perfectly. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in the wrong game. The Hurricane is certainly one of the more unusual superstars on the Raw roster. But you've got to respect the Cruiserweight, who stays on a brand full of heavyweights. That's it. Over the ropes and down to the floor to Grandma's house we go. Man, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears shed in that ring over the years. And if these superstars have their way, there's going to be a lot more shed here tonight. There's the reversal call. <laughs> night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing, I don't ever want to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this. There he goes. Tossed out of the ring and out of this match. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Looks like they might be taking this match down a notch here, Cole. The pace of the match may have slowed, but the intensity of these superstars certainly hasn't. You can say that again. Waiting for your opponent to make a move or give an opening can be just as intense as putting him through a table. And whether or not you have that kind of patience often means the difference between winning and losing a match. Look at these fans. They didn't like that one bit. Yeah, well, you know what? I got some bad news for these fans. He don't give a damn what you think. What a counter that was. Danny Basham's a real bull in the china shop, Cole. I'm telling you. You don't want to get in this guy's way. Sure enough, but I've noticed that superstars who know how to handle Danny's raw power often get the better of him. He's docking his opponent from the top turbo. We've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, you know, that's not going to make you popular, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. That's one less superstar to deal with. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. This superstar is all fired up. And so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, tell you what. One mistake and we're going to see that fire go out in front, though. I've been looking forward to this match all night long, Cole. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you have that kind of hype, it's really tough to live up to the expectations. But these superstars ain't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. Well, give them an A for effort. Yeah, and give them an F while you're at it. But no freaking way to lift him. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? There's a dude with guts. These top rope moves are risky. You know, you can show off for the crowd all you want, but all that does is let your opponent rest up. Actually, Taz, I think it's a great display of confidence on the part of this great superstar. And there goes the superstar!
I think he's gonna fly, Cole! Man, I don't envy that ref. You know, the last place I want to be is between these superstars. You can say that again. Talk about hazardous to your health. Paul London's gone out of his way to get noticed, Paul. But the best way to do that is to put some screamers on you. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? And there's the reversal. This is one hell of a performance by some amazing superstars, Cole. What did you expect, Taz? This is He's out of the match and on his way to the locker room. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd, though, Cole. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. I think that's... Yes, it's an elimination! These superstars give... There we go! Out of the ring and out of the match! Great reversal! This crowd is hoping to see a little bit of the air against beating out of Renee Dupree. And I think they just might get their wish. Cut the kid some slack, Cole. He's climbing the turbo. Will this pay off? I can't deny that the legend killer Randy Orton had a pretty impressive career so far. And this match is over for that superstar. It's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. Going up the turnbuckle hurts a heck of a lot less than coming down from the turnbuckle. That was a textbook reversal. of not being the best fighters in the world, but this will make you free. You don't look that bad man tonight. Well, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before Dupree shows his true colors. Yellow for the cowardly streak down his back and white for the flag of surrender. Kurt Angle is such a phenomenal athlete. It's a shame that he feels that he has to bend the rules in order to accomplish his goals. I, I don't like where this is going. Yeah, and I'm sure his opponent don't like that to the ball side slam much either. You know, Cole, the more I watch this match, the more I'm thinking that there's some legitimate personal issues here between these superstars. Well, you might be right, Taz, after all. They spent the better part of the match beating the hell out of each other. It's hard not to take something like that personally. When you talk about a man who's done it all in this business, you don't have to look any further than the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is definitely a legend. He's been in this business for a very long time and has been extremely successful. You know what? I'm not surprised that Michaels has stuck with Raw, because I do doubt that he could keep up with some of the young pups we have on SmackDown. You're not seriously suggesting that HBK couldn't be competitive on SmackDown, are you, Taz? I mean, no disrespect to the SmackDown superstars, but this is Shawn Michaels we're talking about. Hey, all I'm saying is that ever since SmackDown and Raw became separate brands, we ain't seen much of Michaels on SmackDown. And you know what? You can take that any way you want. His duck mash. He's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You sure he can spare it, Cole? Oh. 
I think I've got a pretty good idea who's gonna win this match, Cole. I wouldn't be so short to ask if there's one thing we've seen, it's that anything can happen here in the WWE. No doubt what we're seeing here, these WWE fans are getting their money's worth. If they don't yet, I'm sure they will by the end of the match, Taz. His opponent is out of it. He's tuning up the man. Sweet chin music. That's guaranteed to take the fight right out of you. I gotta tell you, I didn't expect these guys to go off on each other the way they have tonight. This has been brutal this match so far. Well, Taz, it's not ballet, you know. Oh, really, Cole? Gee, here I was wondering what happened to the pointy toed shoes and the frilly little skirts. You know what? Maybe I should go check your closet. I ain't sure that Lund is worth enough to be wrestling. This is dumb. Why is he risking everything by going up there? I'll tell you, Cole, this is what the WWE is all about. You're absolutely right, Taz. The greatest athletes in the world competing on the grandest stage of them all. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit, Cole. This is a great match, and the fans are way into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man. This one's just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. i got to admit, it kind of took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you, Cole, like they say, anything can happen here in the WWE. You know, I know I say this a lot, Cole, but this is not ballet. You step between those ropes, you better be prepared to take some punishment. And to dish some out as well. I don't think I've ever seen a superstar win a match by being a tackling dummy. These superstars are pounding the heck out of each other. How much longer can they keep this up? I don't know, Taz. But you can bet that it's going to get a lot worse before it's over. What an incredible match we've seen so far. And it ain't over yet, Cole. It sure isn't. I think these superstars could keep going for quite a while longer. And that's the match. That was a bunch of bullshit, but that was a good game. If you guys want to see me some more SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, go ahead and hit that follow and like. You guys have a good one. Peace.